All right. I'll, uh, hopefully this is, um, well, I'll show you what's been going on. Um, so these orange spots here, I'm, like I said, I'm just trying to, uh, I'm just going off into Wonderland and I'm loving it. So here is what I'm trying to, this is like some, yet again, high level plan, Lord knows what, uh, let's bounce ideas off a wall strategically and be those people that don't even really look at, uh, uh, the minute details of when you start drawing up borders willy-nilly like oh I was you know I started I was like oh maybe I should start getting into micro detail and taking a look at I'm like no pretend um, and um, you're those people that you heard about um, when they were like drawing up the borders for Iran and Iraq and stuff and I'm like just follow a river bit and that type of stuff and so what and that's part of Macedonia there and we're gonna just say this is one option of trying to figure out how to get Bulgaria to join the Entente. This is just, like I said, their level, uh, figure out like, uh, here's like extend uh, the border to there. And then that bit would be a, um, I don't know if that's what it should be called. Should it be called the Bulgarian Trust Territory? But I, th I think that's a bit, <clears throat> a bit, whatever. I think it should be more like a Turkish Trust Territory. Is that the way it goes? So it makes them sound like they're, like I was saying, autonomous or whatever. Um, then I started looking into Romania a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. And I was like, wait a flipping minute. Uh, historic, like, they joined the Entente. So why am I not trying to get them, um, uh, you know what I mean, into the war quicker? Is there some way of getting them into So I, I don't know. I have to find, like, I don't know when they entered the war or any of that stuff. Uh, this is, like, a, uh, into realms, like, brand new for me. Um so I'm like, anyways, I'm just like, okay, there's another option. Um, anyways, I'm thinking, geez, do you imagine if, oh yeah, and then I was thinking, uh, uh, like a super secret deal or whatever, you t say that to Bulgaria, but then you went on on the off shot, shoot, you gotta, look, I'm sorry, but in my realm, I'm not saying, obviously that didn't happen historically, but in my realm, uh, at least who's ever f figuring out this type of stuff, does not look at Albania as existing after the war. It's going to be carved up. Um, so what I was thinking, from and from what I've been reading, uh, Montenegro was kind of, um, I don't know, made in the sense uh, to kind of try to make sure that Serbia didn't have access to the, the ocean and so on and so forth. Um, so I'm thinking, hmm, what we'll do is we'll offer that chunk of Macedonia to Serbia um, to Bulgaria, say, look, Serbia, but you're going to get this, you're going to get all the way down to the coast. So, like, be happy and uh, uh, whatever. But like I said, that's like, you know, uh, we're just assuming Albania is not going to exist anymore and Serbia is just going to have to suck it up if it gets bad. Um, here's the existing front. I don't know if you remember. That's a, the existing front in uh, November 1914. Uh, so this is what's really happening there. This is that red a red spot I put there. I don't. Uh, it doesn't list it in the Dervelt Krieg hex. So I'm trying to figure out what the heck that is all about. I still have to figure out a bit more about Corfu or and whatnot in those islands. Um, this this area Salonica and whatnot in uh, the World War One map. It's not part of Greece, so I don't know what the heck's going on here. Like I said, this is all new stuff for me. Um, but I would love to try to figure out, um, like I said, maybe not combat troops or any of that stuff. And I know in the Dervelt Krieg universe, um, the Entente are not allowed to bring uh, naval units uh, through the Adriatic. But technically, is that the Adriatic then, if it's the Ionian Sea? I think I'm being a, um, a silly bunny by saying that's not the Mediterranean. Um, so anyways... What I would let, let, yeah, that's that's so you don't have to do the let's pretend map anymore. So that's what I want to do. See if I can figure out how to get somebody from here, and then we'll go uh, that away, kind of thing, and just try to stay away from the Greek border as much as possible and use the best terrain as possible. That's why I wanted to get to a different scale map, which I do have, and stay away from the Italians and have a supply route. Another supply route for the Serbians, not combat troops, but just a supply route. So that way, at least we can bring supplies in. Um, you know, things start going pear-shaped uh, with the Russians in my world come uh, December, January, if that makes any sense. Yeah, that's about it. I'm just having, um, I'm just loving it, man. Like I said, 
But uh, yeah, I just and then I'll, now I'll go back into the operational world on my game. Oh Jesus, Murphy, this is fun. Okay, see ya.